Hey guys, it's Maze Man 112 and today I'm going to have another video for you guys. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and address a couple questions that you guys have sent me and uh, show you guys some play, gameplay here on uh, Kill Confirmed. Uh, the first thing I want to go ahead and say is, uh, one, once again guys, thank you for reaching 100 subscribers. Um, you know, I got there and then I went back down below and then I got there again. And I don't know if someone of you guys are messing with me, one of you guys are trolling with me or not. But I um, just want to say thank you right off the bat. And um, some of you guys have sent me a message on about the last video not leave, letting you guys leave comments. And um, I'm not too sure why that is and I'm not too sure why I would do that. So as you guys know, I was going to give away two gift cards. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and you know, let leave comments on this video. And I'll, I'll just ex extend it till tomorrow, and, and I'll do a, tomorrow I'll do an announcement video with the winners, and I'll send you guys messages that way. But, um, some of you guys are asking me about your camouflaged weapons and where these can be found. Uh, I'm not too sure if I want to do a video just going over this, just it seems like it might be uh, not enough content for an entire video. But, um, I will put one out if you guys want to see it. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys, you know, verbalize where it is at. Uh, when you go ahead and do your create a class, what you want to go ahead and do is if you hit the Y button, you will see personalized weapon. Uh, this is where you're going to find all your different camos. Um, you know, they're they're not too hard to get to. You only need 150 headshots to get, you know, pretty much all of them unlocked. Right here's a nice little fail I have where I, I knife him and then I fall about seven feet and I die. Now, I think it's funny that, you know, you're a trained soldier, you fall seven feet, you die. Uh, you, you touch the water, you die. But, um, anyways, um... And that's where all your, your camouflage weapons are at. You can camouflage your weapon, your secondary, and your knife. I thought that was really cool that you can go ahead and, uh, you know, your combat knife. If you've been using the combat knife, you can go ahead and put some camouflage on that as well. Um, I did a video showing you guys how fast that camouflage knife can be, and it is super fast. I haven't been running it a ton just because I really like my secondary. I like to shoot down all the air support. I feel like it really helps not only me, but it helps my teammates. Um, when you know the enemy didn't, never really knows where we are at, where our spawn point is. To me, that's the huge thing: is always knowing where the spawns are, are, are and where they, you know, are located. Because if you know the spawn, you know which way the enemy's coming from, and you really are able to control the engagement. Um, the other thing that you guys were asking me was about how to prestige your weapon. Um, and this is kind of the similar thing. It, it's it's not super hard, but it's just like in a, in a, a weird location. Both of these seem to be in odd locations uh, so far. This one. Um, and what you're gonna do is go ahead and go to your creative class. And when you go ahead and do that, and you select your weapon, just like you would, you know, your assault rifle or your submachine gun, you're gonna see that it tells you what level your weapon is at. And when it does this, you will see that if you hit the Y button, you can go ahead and prestige weapon. It'll go ahead and give you that prompt box, you know, you know, are you sure, more info, and it goes ahead and resets everything. But you can only prestige your weapon so far two times. Um, to me, I kind of wish you could prestige it more, but I guess, you know, this is something that's kind of new. So really, you can prestige it once, and I think you can get your emblem on it. Uh, you prestige twice, and or the second prestige, once you're full on your second prestige, you can now get your clan tag on it. Um... You know, I guess there's nothing else you really can put on there without becoming too gaudy or anything like that. And I would get killed calling in a freaking chopper. But, um, I thought that was something kind of cool. Um, and to me, guys, I just want to know if you guys have had any kind of issues with Black Ops 2 so far. Uh, to me, I think they're doing a fantastic job. You know, like I said, when I put out the video on the updates they go ahead and put out... I hadn't experienced most of those. The only one I did experience was the Dragonfly glitch, and I only experienced it once. But that being said, I, I don't really run that a ton, so I probably experienced it once out of the ten times I tried to deploy it. You know, and a ten percent failure rate is is it's not acceptable. It really isn't. Um, but that, that's really it. I haven't seen anyone cheating. I haven't seen anybody really getting outside of the maps or anything like that. I haven't seen guns that are just completely overpowered. I haven't seen kill streaks that are completely overpowered. I'm loving the fact that the kill streaks. Oh, get run up there on, huh? Um, the kill streaks are very powerful, um, but they're not overpowered. Uh, there's nothing that, you know, comes into the air and you're like, this just this, this absolutely sucks. Even the swarm. If you play it right, the swarm. If you, you're gonna have to stay inside, and it seems like it's kind of um, spotty when it comes out. It's not one thing, you know. You can kind of hear them coming, but even that doesn't seem like it's completely overpowered because the person that has it isn't getting a ton of points for it. So you don't have to worry about them constantly rolling over their kill streaks. And to me, that's really what kind of sets apart a lot of the you know pretty good players with the really good players when they play in public matches is getting those kill streaks to roll over. Um, 
Yeah, we had a migrated host right there. Um, and that was a key in the early Call of Duties was figuring out how to get those kill streaks to roll over. And a lot of people didn't realize, you know, if you died and then called it in, that it would help, you know, your air support would help, you know, get towards that next, you know, three, five, seven kill streak. And once you got those rolling like that, that's how you were able to get those ungodly numbers there. Um, and, and now that they don't have it where you have to die in order to do that, it kind of, you know, adds to that, you know, that whole strategy of the actual player themselves. Um, and I'm just loving it so far. You know, like I said, there's not a lot of glitches. There's no really overpowered weapons. I am absolutely loving this MSMC, though. And like I said, I play a lot of running gun. I've been playing a lot of kill confirmed. And um, with World at War, I... Kill Confirmed wasn't my favorite game. Um, it would have been Domination. I love to play Domination because of the objective points. And um, to me, you know, you didn't get enough points for going after all those tags. And you still had those people who were playing. That was nice. You playing that Slayer role and, and getting all the kills. And you go ahead and did the dirty work. And they were kind of really benefiting just as much. And now we have almost an opposite where you have people stealing each other's tags because they're worth so many points. Um, I wish there was something they could do with that, uh, but you know, it's almost about that communication. And it's kind of nice that you have people wanting to go at the objective harder than they did before because of, you know, the value that these 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 uh, these tags have. And right here, I'm gonna go ahead and call this VTOL, and I wanna know if you guys have had this type of problem. So I go ahead and call it in, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit, and I get like one, freaking enemy showing up on, on my radar the entire time. I mean, look, I have nobody anywhere on it. The people that I are, I am killing are, are have cold-blooded on. And I'm wondering if you guys are having that issue where, you know, you have some kill streaks in the air and no one is showing up anywhere. I mean, look at this. It's kind of ridiculous. I have one person on their team showing up, and this one guy that's showing up is almost giving me the other guy's spawn point. But this is a 6v6 match, and I have one person showing up. I've never really got the whole cold-blooded ghost um, kind of assassin perk. I don't understand it. it to me, um, it could just be me bitching. Uh, you know, that kind of happens from time to time if you ask my wife. And um, I just don't get it. To me, it's not real fair that you, you don't show up on the the, uh, the mini-maps at all. And that's probably part of the reason why I shoot down everything that comes in the air. It, because... If you're going to run Ghost, if you're going to run, you know, you're cold-blooded, I'm going to shoot it down because if I don't have the luxury of seeing you and my UAVs in the air, you're not going to have the luxury of seeing me as well. Uh, you guys can go ahead and kind of call me a jerk for doing that, but it's just the way I feel about it. I like it to be totally even, um, and I like it, you know, if I have a UAV, you, you should show up, damn it. <laughs> you know, there's nothing worse than being on a kill streak and, and getting killed by that guy running Ghost because, you know, you just didn't think he was going to be there. You... It's, it's worse, you know, to see the radar and see that there's nothing there. So then you already, you know, are planning for that space to be open when truly there is somebody there and you run in there completely unaware and, and you really get caught with your pants down. It, it's kind of frustrating and, and that's my biggest pet peeve is, is stuff like that. But, you know, I don't want to go ahead and do a complete, you know, bitch fest for you guys. I just want to go ahead and show you guys some gameplay and um, let you guys know that, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do the giveaway in tomorrow. I'll put up a video about it then. Um, I don't know what was going on with the comments on the last video, but I just want to say thank you guys once again. It was it's it's super nice to be able to get to you know 100 subscribers, and I, I'm continuing to look to you know continue to grow and bring you guys the best content that I can and, and something that you guys enjoy. Um, if you guys have any other questions or concerns, make sure you guys leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Operation complete. Nice job, squad.